Welcome to 843TV. I'm your host, Carrie Smoot Manning with The Village Spa. And I'm Wayne Morris with WHHI-TV. And today we are on the beautiful campus out here at USCB. It is. It's fantastic. It's amazing how far this university and this campus has come in a short it's amount of beautiful. time. It's yeah. beautiful. I didn't realize it was this big. And to talk about some of the research and all the great things they do here at this school is Dr. John Salazar. And then secondly, we have Miss Shelley West. She is with the Bluffton Chamber of Commerce, and she's here to recap a little bit about the huge success of the Taste of Bluffton. And our final guest is with Carolyn Coppola, and she is with Celebrate Bluffton, Inc., and that's a nonprofit here in town. Great show today. There's a lot of information on the show, so make sure that you come right back and join us for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Greater Bluffton Chamber comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where Buckwalter Place comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We're here this morning with Mr. John Salazar. He is the Hospitality Management Professor here at USCB. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's great to be here. It's a beautiful day today, as you can see, with a bright sunshine. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell everybody, you guys have a first annual Charles Fraser Sustainability Conference. That's yes, a mouthful. you bet. Tell everybody what that's about. We had the inaugural, inaugural Charles E. Fraser Sustainable Resort Development Conference. Charles Fraser is really one of the founding fathers of Hilton Head Island. And in addition to that, he was one of the first individuals in the country to utilize a sustainable resort development philosophy, which really focused on encouraging walkways, engaging um, the community with its natural resources, and so the residents and the visitors would actually have a sense of place. Um, so throughout the country and throughout the world, Charles, Charles Frazier has been very well recognized for this. So much where there is a, a chair's position at the Urban Land Institute in Washington, D.C., and uh, that chair goes out and throughout the country and throughout the world expresses Charles Fraser's philosophy. So the other day we had the Charles Fraser Sustainable Resort Development Conference to really celebrate that, that contribution that he had to the industry, but also to permanently keep that engagement with Hilton Head because that's where it all began. That's where it all started. Right. And, and, and this week, doing it this week was really important because it's actually National Tourism Week throughout the country. Um, and so it's a combination of things. We're celebrating his, his philosophy, we're bringing it back home to Hilton Head, but also we're doing it during National Tourism Week. Great. And John, we would love to hear more about the research going on at USCB, especially in terms of coastal ecology and ecotourism. Sure. Well, we've got, we've got quite a bit of research going on throughout the, the community. The, the economy, the environment, the community well-being all kind of converge into this uh, in, um, sustainable model we f refer to as a three-legged stool, right? Environmental, vita or environmental um, health, economic vitality, and, and community well-being. So on the ecology side, we have a lot of coastal ecology research tied to the May River as well as water quality testing with the USCB water quality, well, excuse me, water quality research lab. Um, and then we also have researchers that are examining um, the populations of plankton and, and, and larvae in the, in, in, in the sound as well as the May River. Uh, we have researchers that are, are conducting dolphin inventories within our region to, to examine the population and, and, and how that migrating population shifts uh, throughout the coast. Um, on the flip side of that, we have tourism related research that's very well tied to that because our visitors come here um, because of our natural resources and our environment. It is the sense of place that Charles Fraser wanted to celebrate, right? Well, that's why our visitors come here. So on a tourism, uh, from a tourism perspective, we want to continue to examine what are those characteristics of, of our low country community, not just Hilton Head, 
but we've got Beaufort, we've got Bluffton that's starting to pop now. Our relationship with Savannah, which is really important because that's a historical destination. <clears throat> so we have to examine what are those, those um, embedded characteristics of our community that our visitors are interested in. Quite a bit of that comes right back to the, the environment. Right. So um, we have a lot of people, a lot of new growth and a lot of people coming in absolutely. <laughs> and a we, lot of water to protect. Absolutely. Um, according to our researchers here, as well as uh, some other documented information, Beaufort County um, basically expands at low tide because that's when our, our, our land is exposed. So at, at high tide, 50 percent of our land is actually underwater. So, we, I mean, we, we are engaged with our community from a residential perspective, but also from a, a visitor perspective. And we're all here because of this beauty. Right, so we have to figure out how to um, move forward with balance. Okay, and back to hospitality, we have a lot of events in the area, and I know your students do something with area events. Tell us about that program. Sure, we, we've been doing a lot of on-site research, um, probably for the last six, seven years. We take uh, computer tablets and we place them out in a specific location, so it's almost like a, a voting type of uh, station, but we, we have these on-site surveys um, that ask a battery of consistent questions throughout various events. So, <clears throat> for example, we collect the zip code information. We don't ask anything um, personal above the zip code information, just the zip code information so we can trace that information back to a visitor point of origin. But then we ask them why are they here, how long they're staying, um, where they're staying in terms of is it a, a villa, is it, uh, do you own your unit you're staying in, um, are you staying in a hotel. All of that lends itself to a consistent analysis uh, where we can do a trend Comparison so you cover demographics here. on that we too? We cover demographics, we cover recreation demand, um, and, and over the years we've been able to aggregate all of this data, whereas we can compare it to the RBC heritage, we can compare it to the Concord de Elegance, um, we can actually identify what parts of the country are really interested in the low country, so as we aggregate this information, um, there's so many bits and pieces that mm -hmm. can be used for different efforts. So, for example, um, a lot of this information we could kick to the Savannah Airport so they can explore new markets. I've been receiving calls lately from the Chambers of Commerce and the airport about what are the international markets. And uh, the way we're able to get at this information, again, is year-over-year -year aggregation of data. The students are part of that data collection process and it's valuable for them right because they actually get to see the research and its applicability in the field. As a student here in hospitality <clears throat> management what's unique about the experience here at USCB? I mean we have such a hospitality friendly market. Yeah. Uh, what else is unique about being a student here? The environment and the engagement with the business community. So everything that we've talked about um, in the last couple of minutes, uh, our natural resources and the ability to engage the business community. It's a special opportunity for students. It absolutely, really is. absolutely. All right. Well, make sure that you come right back because we have more 843 TV.